So now I'd like to demonstrate how paths can be used to show that certain limits do not exist. So first up we have the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared. Now when selecting paths you're allowed to pick any curve that passes through the ordered pair 0, 0. So with that in mind, let us attempt to use a path of x equals 0. This would be simply a vertical line passing through 0, 0. So what we're going to do is make a substitution on the x variable and change all of the x's into zeros. So this would be 0 squared minus y squared over 0 squared plus y squared. Simplifying both the numerator as well as the denominator, we will get negative y squared divided by y squared. Simplifying this fraction will give us negative 1. Then taking the limit as y approaches 0 won't actually do anything due to the fact that we have simply a number there. Now if we were to attempt to do another path, such as the path y equals 0, which would simply be the horizontal line passing through the ordered pair 0, 0. We're going to make a substitution on the y variable, so now we'll have just the limit as x goes to 0 of x squared minus 0 squared over x squared plus 0 squared. Simplifying both the top as well as the bottom, we will get the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared divided by x squared. Simplifying this fraction as much as possible, this will be the limit as x approaches 0 of 1, which again is simply the limit of a constant, which will be whatever the constant is equal to. As soon as you arrive at two different values along two different paths, you are allowed to draw a conclusion. Therefore, the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared does not exist. Now you are only allowed to draw this conclusion after you have arrived at two different values. If you get the same value over and over, that doesn't mean anything. In fact, let's demonstrate that once more with the following problem. I'd like to show that the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of 6xy over x squared plus y squared does not exist. So as we did on the previous problem, let's start with the path x equals 0 and making that substitution in here. Since we're substituting on x, we will only need the limit as y approaches 0 of 6 times 0 times y over 0 squared plus y squared. Or the limit as y approaches 0 of 0 divided by y squared. Now do keep in mind that a limit means approaching but not actually equal to. So exactly 0 divided by something simply approaching 0 is still just going to be 0 all the way throughout. Now if we were to try this as we did on the previous problem with the path of y equals 0, this would now be the limit as x approaches 0 of 6 times x times 0 over x squared plus 0 squared. So this is going to be nearly identical to the previous thing. The limit as x approaches 0 of 0 divided by x squared. And again, this is exactly 0 divided by approaching 0. Approaching 0 means not exactly equal to. So 0 divided by something that's not 0 is going to be 0. At this point, we can draw no conclusion because we've gotten the same value on two different paths. So if that winds up happening, then go ahead and try another path. The path that I'd like to try on this one is going to be y equals x. That would be a straight line, slope 1, passing through the origin. Now with this substitution, I can either turn my y's into x's or my x's into y's, and then take the limit as whichever variable remains approaches 0. I'm going to replace all of my y's with an x, and then proceed to attempt to evaluate. So that would give us 6 times x times instead of y, now it'll be x, over x squared plus instead of y squared, it'll now be x squared. This will be the limit as x approaches 0. Numerator is now 6x squared. Denominator is now 2x squared. So this will be the limit as x approaches 0 of, reducing the fraction, we get 3. Once more, the limit as x approaches 0 of a constant is simply going to be whatever the constant is. 
As soon as we get a value that is different from any of the other values that we've already gotten, we can draw a conclusion. Therefore, the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of 6xy divided by x squared plus y squared does not exist. Now the key to success on this previous problem was the fact that we kept getting zero for the first kind of limit, and so eventually we needed to get something that was not zero. And the key to getting not zero from a polynomial divided by a polynomial is to make sure that the numerator and denominator have the same degree. If they have the same degree, then we'll be able to cancel out whatever that power is and be left with simply their lead coefficients. That is going to be the motivation behind what we do for this example, which is show that the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of 2xy squared over x squared plus y to the fourth does not exist. If we go the route of the previous couple problems, if we try the path x is equal to 0, we'll get the limit as y approaches 0 of 2 times 0 times y squared over 0 squared plus y to the fourth. And using uh, similar limit laws to what we saw in the previous problem, we are going to get that this will be 0. If we try the path of y equals 0, we'll get the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 times x times 0 squared over x squared plus 0 to the fourth. And very similar to what we saw in the previous problems, this one will be equal to 0 as well. In both of these cases, the numerator was identically zero and the denominator was approaching zero, giving us zero in both of those cases. Now to speed up the process a little bit, I wanna show that regardless of what line I pick that passes through the origin, we're still going to get zero. So I'm going to say simply y is equal to mx, where m simply represents the slope of the line. So I'm going to replace all of my uh, y's with an mx. So this will be 2 times x times mx squared, oh excuse me, that should be right here, there we go, over x squared plus mx to the fourth power. Simplifying this, we will get, this will become 2m squared x cubed over x squared plus m to the fourth x to the fourth. Now technically, we're down to one variable, our one variable being x. We could use L'Hopital's rule a couple times here. Instead, I'd like to do the slightly more straightforward. I'd like to divide top and bottom by x squared to get this guy down to a constant. So this will be the limit as x approaches 0 of, numerator is now 2 times m squared times x, denominator is now 1 plus m to the fourth times x squared. If you attempt to use the direct substitution property at this point, your numerator is going to become zero. Your denominator is going to become one, letting you know that regardless of the linear path that you select that passes through the origin, you are going to get zero. And yet we're trying to show that this limit does not exist. That simply means that we need to pick a nonlinear path. So going back to what I said on the previous problem, our attempt should be to try to make the numerator and denominator the same degree polynomial. This can be accomplished if we try to turn an x squared into a y to the fourth. We can do so by selecting the following path. That, well, hang on, how do you spell path? There we go. Uh, we are going to select a path of x equals y squared. This is a path that passes through the origin. I'm going to replace all of my x's with a y squared. Now the reason that I'm not choosing y equals the square root of x is that that does not actually pass through the origin, it simply terminates at the origin. So this will be 2y squared times y squared over y squared squared plus y to the fourth. Your numerator will simplify as 2 times y squared times y squared, that'll be 2y to the fourth and your denominator becomes y to the fourth plus y to the fourth, which would be 2y to the fourth. Therefore, we are taking the limit as y approaches 0 of 1, which is equal to 1. 
Now, because we finally got a, a different value than we got from the other paths, we are now allowed to draw a conclusion, and that conclusion is that the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of 2xy squared over x squared plus y to the fourth does not exist. And I believe I've already said this, but I'm going to say it again. Paths cannot be used to show that a limit does exist. In the next video, we'll investigate ways to show that a limit does exist.